Hey everyone, I am Masha Billington and this is The Campfire. Today we are taking a look at 186A. It's an all Houston ISD district and after realignment, here's the teams that make up the 17th district. Bel Air, Chavez, Heights, Lamar, Houston Mass Science and Technology, Westbury and Westside. With only six district games, each win is even more important when it comes to making the postseason. Let's analyze these teams in our film session. Last year, Lamar took the district, but they should face an even stronger opposition from Westside in 2022. The Wolves finished second last year and lost to Lamar by seven touchdowns. But this year may be different as they still have the district's best rusher and Jabari Kukindal to go along with quarterback Thaddeus Watson. The Texans will have a solid QB returning as well in Kenneth Rosenthal. They went undefeated in district play and have a two-headed monster in the backfield with Kelton Weathers and Jordan Reeves. Heights and Westbury were the other two playoff teams from this district last year and should make a push this year. The Bulldogs lose a lot to graduation and will rely heavily on David Nico to lead the defense. Westbury's Ricky Golightly Jr. could step up to be one of the best quarterbacks in the district in 2022. Chavez also has some experienced skilled position players coming back with quarterback Cameron Sanders and running back Bannister Shallow. If Bel Air can sure up their quarterback position, they have some quality receivers to throw to and Chris Totten and Maurice Hubbard. A district win would be a solid improvement for Houston math, science, and technology. It's difficult to predict the winner in this district. Should be a competitive one at the top. Now let's dig even deeper into 186A with Houston Chronicle reporter John Foreman and producer Ward Fasold in our district breakdown. All right, it's district breakdown time. We're talking 186A. I got John Foreman with me from the Houston Chronicle. And this is an all Houston ISD district. Last year it was Lamar that... Uh, got back on top after a year down with uh, with Heights taking the district crown two years ago, but Lamar got back on top. Uh, Do you see them fighting through and, and winning a district title again in this 17 district? Yeah, it's hard to, to pick against Lamar in this district. Of course, we all know about their tradition and, you know, the huge string of district titles they won before Heights finally got them a couple of seasons ago. But yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they're the cream of the crop when it comes to um, to the programs here and you know like I said they have a great tradition they have a returning quarterback in Kenneth Rosenthal who showed plenty of potential last year as a dual threat uh, signal caller for them so you know I think that they're probably the team to beat especially considering that you know their closest game was 13 points last season I think and they you know blew out the second place team west side I think 49 to nothing so that just shows you kind of the category that they're in here um, you know, but I mentioned Westside, they're poised for another good season as well. And they might have, they might very well have the best player in the district with running back Jabari Kirkendall, uh, returning for his senior season. I think that's how you say his last name. Yeah. I could be wrong, but. Kirkendall, <laughs> um, but hey, as long as we're saying Jabari, right, we're all right. <laughs> yeah, Jabari, yeah, Jabari, uh, great player. Uh, rushed for more than 1,600 yards last year and. You know, so he, I think he's going to keep them in the mix, um, you know, right there at the top, uh, you know, with Lamar. So that should be interesting, and we will talk to you about that next week. All righty, sounds good. The guys had much more to say on this district, and you can catch the entire district breakdown on Wednesday on our social media platforms. Or if you just cannot wait, hop on over to iTunes and Spotify for the extended version of the Campfire in our podcast. We've heard about the teams. Now let's take a look at some of the athletes to watch out for in our players on the rocks. Jabari Kokindal is back in 186A, and that spells trouble for district foes. The West Side running back was the district MVP last year because he picked up over 1,600 yards on the ground and 14 touchdowns. Jabari actually averaged 199 yards per game. Koi Kendall is looking to stack more big time stats this year, and our military seems to like him because he has offers from Army, Navy, and Air Force. Over at Lamar, quarterback Kenneth Rosenthal will be one to watch in 2022. In his junior season, Rosenthal threw for almost 1,300 yards 
and 11 touchdowns and picked up seven more scores on the ground. He was a first-team All-District selection last year and should be able to do more damage in the upcoming season. Anthony Bravo of Westbury is another running back looking to make a name for himself in this district. He got a good start at doing just that as he was named first team all district. He finished the year at 625 yards and seven touchdowns, but Bravo expects more in 2022. Bravo has a knack of bouncing off would-be tacklers for extra yards, and the Huskies could use some of that this fall. Defensively, Houston Heights' David Nico is one of the hardest-hitting linebackers around. Nico tallied 71 tackles, two being for losses last year. He always seemed to make big plays to stop an opponent's drive. David was a first-team all-district selection last year and has offers from Arkansas State and Grambling State. Lamar went undefeated in district play last year, and our work was sold caught up with the Texas head coach, Michael Lindsay to see if they are ready to do it again in our Media Day segment. All right, it's Media Day. We are talking 18-6A, and we're joined by Lamar Texans head coach, Michael Lindsay. Coach, last year was a productive year for you because you guys went undefeated in district. You may have picked up three losses, but they were all super close games, uh, so it's not, not nothing, anything to hang your head up. What are you looking for for this year as far as building off of last year's 7-3 uh, and three season? Yeah, we, um, we had a good year, but we're trying to go from good to great. And we think we've got what it takes to do that. We return our quarterback, Kenneth Rosenthal, and he's going to be a senior, and he's got two years under his belt. He had a fantastic spring. Um, also, uh, our offensive line is the – main point of, of emphasis for me and we are really excited about our offensive line we only return one starter in senior Javon sinclair but we're adding a lot of young talent led by uh, a rising sophomore jamad odoms and he's got several offers um, from division one schools we, we've got a good group really excited about that you know we return a lot of other players at the offensive skill positions Defense line is going to be as solid as usual. And we're excited about next year. We've got a lot coming back. Now, we were talking off air that you just recently finished your spring game. What were you kind of looking for in that game as far as positions where you wanted, wanted players to kind of step up and prove something to you? And, and did they do that? Absolutely. I, I think offensive line and linebacker was the, the two biggest positions. And, you know, we, we really had, um, you know, I think we had 16 practices that we got in. And, you know, we, we solidified our group. And as I said, with Javon Sinclair, um, rising senior, Jamal Odoms, Tyler Chapman has earned a spot at right guard for us. He's a rising junior. And Tyler's 6'3", 3'15", and had a great spring. Um, and rising junior Carson Johnson at right tackle had an unbelievable spring. So we're excited about that group. Still kind of looking for, um, you know, the center position. Where that's that's going to be an ongoing battle for us. Excellent, excellent. Well, I hope you have a great season coming up, and uh, we'll be out a bunch of your games. So thank you for joining us, Coach Lindsay. Thank you. I appreciate it. You can hear the entire interview with Coach Lindsay on our social media platforms this Friday. Or like I said earlier, if you just can't wait, hop on over to iTunes and Spotify to listen to our podcast in the extended version of the campfire. That's going to do it for this week. Next week, we move into 196A, which is the Katy District. Remember 5A Division I champions Katie Pato moved up to 6A, which might shake up the district a little bit. You can keep up with everything on the high school football scene on our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram accounts. Until next time, I am Ashley Bullington, and thank you for watching the Campfire.